Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Liberty playing cards from Jackson Robinson and playingcards.net. All right, so what are the Liberty playing cards? Uh, originally, this was a Kickstarter project. It was a Kickstarter project from playingcards.net. They hired Jackson Robinson to, to design uh, this deck. There was a couple of them released. There was the red, the blue, and there was like a special edition that was in a gold tuck case. The ad copy says that this deck is perfect for poker nights with the traditional style and a modern touch. This deck I purchased from penguinmagic.com um, and I was a little late to the Kickstarter and now I'm kind of sad about it and I'll tell you why. Uh, originally when the Kickstarter was released, uh, the first run of these cards were printed from expert playing cards. And I would assume they were great because expert makes great cards. Um, this deck now, if you buy the second release, um, these are printed from Liberty Playing Cards, which is out here in Arlington, Texas. And I would say that the card quality is subpar. The tuck case is done in a red, dark red and white, and it's uh, all wrapped around, single color. Uh, the front of the tuck case says Liberty Playing Cards, and you have the arm holding the torch, very similar to the Statue of Liberty. It says Liberty Back, Libertas, and Standard. Both sides, left and right of the tuck case, says Liberty Playing Cards, Arlington, Texas. The bottom has some ad copy about playingcards.net. The top of the tuck case says Poker Size, and there is no tuck seal, which is nice. And the back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. The tongue flap is very small and kind of, in my opinion, very cheap looking. It says Libertas right there, and it has a little wing. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the Liberty Playing Card Company out here in Arlington, Texas, and they are done on a souvenir feel stock. They are definitely a paper feel, paper stock. Um, when you measure these with a the caliper, uh, they come to 2.88. 2.88 is about the same as the Red Core, the Red Wheel, the Gold Artifice, Blue Steel, and the Westminster deck. However, they are not even close to the same quality. I'm gonna show you a couple of different spread attempts across the table, um, and right out of the box, they clump. I mean, they, this is a clumpy deck. There's barely uh, an impression on the top or bottom. Uh, it's just really cheap paper. They stick together. This is a subpar feeling deck. Um, I would get this deck maybe for camping, right? Or, you know, to practice. I don't know what I would practice with these. I mean, I would give these to my kid to play with. I mean, the only reason I got them was because I love Jackson Robinson, I love his art, and so I didn't get a chance to pick up these decks when they were new, and I really wanted to, probably should have, you know, kick myself for not doing it, right? Uh, hindsight is 2020, but what can you do? And I picked them up thinking, well, maybe if they're good, you know, then I could, I, I'll get the blue ones. So I got the red ones and I thought, well, if I, you know, I'll see how well they are. And then if they're any good, I'll get the blue ones, but I wouldn't get the blue ones now at this point. With this deck, you're gonna get three Liberty Bell Jokers, one red, one blue, and one black. Your Ace of Spades is big and beautiful. It has the large spade pip there in the center with the hand holding the torch. And it says Liberty Playing Card Company across the top, designed by Jackson Robinson. Your pips and indices will all have a completely standard feel, making them perfect for gameplay. Your court cards are all gonna be completely original and redrawn by Jackson Robinson, who is a renowned playing card illustrator and uh, always puts out exceptional work. Uh, it does kind of have an old retro Arco type feel and uh, I think it helps blend with the theme of this deck. Well, that's really all I can say about the Liberty playing cards. It's kind of a shame because, you know, I appreciate Jackson Robinson's work and I've always liked uh, previous attempts from playingcards.net. I just wish they had picked a better printer, maybe used a better stock. Uh, these cards are really subpar in comparison with a lot of what is out on the market today. All right, so that's my review for the Liberty back version two playing cards from playingcards.net and Liberty Playing Cards. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also ask that you subscribe to this channel just so that you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you ever need more content, you can always find it at magicorthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.